In this video, we're learning how to divide fractions. And at the top of our screen, it says to divide fractions, remember to keep, change, flip. And what that means is we're gonna keep the first fraction as it is, we're gonna change the division to multiplication, and we're gonna flip the second fraction. So basically, when you're dividing fractions, you're multiplying the first fraction by the reciprocal of the second. And reciprocal just means flip the fraction upside down. So let's jump into number one, and I will show you guys how to keep change flip. So the first one says 8 ninths divided by 5 sixths. So we're going to keep 8 ninths as it is. We're going to change the division to multiplication. We're going to flip the second fraction upside down, so it's going to become 6 fifths. And now we're just going to multiply across like we normally do, and we can cross reduce if possible. So remember, cross-reducing is if you can simplify any of the numbers that are diagonal from each other. So if we look at this one, 6 and 9 have a common factor of 3, so we can divide them both by 3 to cross-reduce. So 9 divided by 3 is 3, so this becomes a 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So now it's really like we have 8 over 3 times 2 over 5, and we're just going to multiply straight across. So 8 times 2 is 16, and 3 times 5 is 15. And we can leave it as improper, but I'll write it as a mixed number 2, just in case you guys prefer to write it like that. So 15 goes into 16 one time, and there is one left over. We're going to put that over 15. So we get 16 fifteenths, or 1 and 1 fifteenth. Let's take a look at example 2, which is 15 sixteenths divided by 9 twentieths. So we're going to use the same method of keep, change, flip. So we're going to keep the first fraction as it is, change the division to multiplication, flip the second fraction upside down, so it becomes 20 over 9. And now we want to see if we can cross-reduce. So we can cross-reduce 15 and 9 by dividing them both by 3. So 15 divided by 3 is 5. 9 divided by 3 is 3. And we can also cross-reduce 16 and 20 by dividing them both by 4. 16 divided by 4 is 4. 20 divided by 4 is 5. So now I have 5 over 4 times 5 over 3. So I'm going to multiply straight across. So 5 times 5 is 25 on the top. And on the bottom, 4 times 3 is 12. So I get 25 twelfths or we could write this as a mixed number. So 12 goes into 25 two times, and 2 times 12 is 24, so we have one left over. Put that over the 12. So we get 25 twelfths, or 2 and 1 twelfth. Let's take a look at some harder examples. So example 3 is 24 over 35 divided by 15 over 21. So these numbers are a little bit bigger than our first two examples, but we're just going to do the same thing. So we're going to keep the first fraction as it is, so keep it as 24 over 35, change the division to multiplication, flip the second fraction upside down so it becomes 21 over 15, and now when the numbers are this big it's really important to remember to cross reduce or simplify the fractions initially or do both if possible so that we don't have to do any long multiplication or long division. So. I'm going to cross reduce. You could also simplify 21 fifteenths first, but I'm going to cross reduce the 24 and the 15 by dividing them both by 3. 24 divided by 3 is 8. 15 divided by 3 is 5. And I can also cross reduce the 21 and the 35 by dividing them by 7. 35 divided by 7 is 5. 21 divided by 7 is 3. So now I have 8 times 3 on the top, which is 24, and 5 times 5 on the bottom, which is 25. And because we fully simplified our fractions and cross-reduced, we don't have to simplify this, and it is a proper fraction, so we don't have to change it to a mixed number. So we get 24 25ths as our answer. If we look over here at example 4, it is 49 60ths divided by 7 36 So again, we're going to keep the first fraction as it is, 49 sixtieths. Change the division to multiplication, flip the
the second fraction to become 36 over 7. And now let's cross reduce. So we can divide 49 and 7 both by 7. 49 divided by 7 is 7. 7 divided by 7 is 1. And we can divide 36 and 60 both by 12. 60 divided by 12 is 5. 36 divided by 12 is 3. So now we have 7 times 3 on the top, which is 21. 5 times 1 on the bottom, which is 5. And we'll write this as a mixed number as well. So 5 goes into 21 4 times. And 5 times 4 is 20. So we have 1 left over. Put that over our denominator of 5. So we get 21 fifths, or 4 and 1 fifth. Let's go through two more examples. For these last two examples, I encourage you guys to pause the video and try them on your own, and then you can unpause the video and watch me work through them to make sure you did them correctly. So number five is 12 over 25 divided by 9 tenths. So I'm going to start by keeping the first fraction the same, so 12 25ths. Change division to multiplication. Flip the second fraction upside down so it becomes 10 ninths. And now I'm going to cross reduce. So I can cross reduce the 12 and the 9 by dividing them both by 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4. 9 divided by 3 is 3. And I can cross reduce the 10 and the 25 by dividing them both by 5. 25 divided by 5 is 5. 10 divided by 5 is 2. And now I'm just going to multiply straight across. 4 times 2 is going to give me an 8 on the top. 5 times 3 gives me a 15 on the bottom. Because I cross-reduced and fully simplified my fractions initially, I don't have to simplify this at the end, so we just get 8 fifteenths as our answer. And if we look at this last one, we have 48 fiftieths divided by 32 45ths. So again, we're going to keep the first fraction the same. So we have 48 fiftieths. Change the division to a multiplication. Flip the second fraction to become 45 over 32. And now we want to simplify and cross reduce. So again, we could simplify 48 over 50 if we want, but we could also cross reduce. So I'm going to cross reduce. So I'm going to divide 48 and 32 by 8. 48 divided by 8 is going to give me a 6. 32 divided by 8 is going to give me 4. And I'm going to divide 50 and 45 by 5. 50 divided by 5 is 10. 45 divided by 5 is 9. And now I can actually simplify this 6 over 10. So I'm going to rewrite it as 6 over 10 times 9 over 4. And I can simplify 6 over 10 by dividing the top and bottom by 2. So the 6 becomes a 3. The 10 becomes a 5. So now it's like I have 3 fifths times 9 fourths. And I can't simplify or cross-reduce anymore, so I'm going to multiply straight across. 3 times 9 is 27. 5 times 4 is 20. So I get 27 over 20, which we can rewrite as a mixed number. So 20 goes into 27 one time, and there's 7 left over. Put that over our denominator of 20. So we get 27 twentieths, or 1 and 7 twentieths. So hopefully that video helped you guys learn how to divide fractions. You just need to remember, keep change flip.